me myself, I've been exposed to some false leaders, like really people who pretended to be righteous, pretended to be pure. And in that time, when I was so-called close with them, I didn't realize, I couldn't realize how much lie they contained, how many bad attributes they carried, and how far from being holy they were while I was blinded as well, like, because I fell into that lie. I remember that I went, after I decided to leave the, that community and to stay like super far from that rabbi, I met another Adamo, a very big righteous person, and I spoke with him. And he told me, you're a very talented person and you did so many good things. And I was like, still so blinded. And I told him, no, it's all by the merit of my rabbi, like the rabbi. And he looked at me and he said, no, you were born with a lot of great talents. Like, what are you talking about? You have great powers. You yourself with no connection to him. And it's true. I do. I have skills. I have abilities. I have powers as part of my mission on earth. Just that this rabbi was always explaining to me that all my success depends on him. And he brainwashed me for so long that I started to believe in that and lost my faith in myself and my self-esteem. And that's crazy. Like that's exactly what we as Jewish people are so far from because we should never idolize people. We worship the invisible God, the unseen maker of the universe, the spiritual one, the maker and him and no one but him. And as such, ideally faithful people loyal to the truth people dedicated to that pure path if we find ourselves falling into that trap of worshiping rabbis worshiping righteous people in that place what's the difference between judaism and christianity also in christianity they found a man that they believe that he is so holy or was so holy and they just call him god so if you found yourself that you have a rabbi and that rabbi is so righteous that you like almost holding him as God. So it's time to restart your path of closeness, of coming closer to the maker and really trying to figure out what does it mean to connect yourself to the maker and not through flesh and bones. Now, it is true that we should listen to the voice of the sages and the righteous ones and to follow their advice. But that's only, but only when they are teaching you how to serve Hashem. But when those people are forcing you to serve them or convincing you that that is the most important thing to focus on them and their organization, them and their money, them and their honor, them and their success, them and, and, and their greatness. So then you need to start realizing that something is fishy. When I realized that I'm not supposed to waste one more minute over there in that community, being part of his work, all the fears that attacked me, all the, the terror that was planted into me in those years was so heavy that I was facing walls of darkness. I was, I was facing oceans of, of bitterness. It was... There was no end to the terror, to the fear. We thought we we're going to lose everything. And then we realized that we are afraid of a man, that we are afraid that he will be upset, that he will be angry, that he will curse us, that he will not um, like save us, or like all those nonsense. When you give so much credit to a human being as if he has the power to save himself, how can he save you when he cannot save himself? I really, from the bottom of my heart, want to warn you. There are many people that will look very good, very kind, very shiny, very beautiful, very whatever, wise, intelligent, bright, but their heart is not aimed to help you. And if their heart is not aimed to help you and their heart is aimed to help themselves through you, so then you're being used for their purposes and they're not here to help you, to assist you, to come closer to the maker, even if all their speech will be only on that topic in reality what a person should do a person should wake up and be brave and you don't need immediately to cut all the chains and to separate yourself from from all the services or whatever to like but to start building yourself to be independent to start helping yourself to 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 rise um, that's definitely the right way that's definitely the right approach 
I think that when a person is coming to that place, to that uh, realization, that he needs to clarify, that he needs to check things on his own, that he needs to see if things works for him, that he needs to use his senses, his inner system of senses. In that moment, you wake up and your wisdom is growing and your understanding is expanding and you can reach levels that are way beyond uh, the average. Now for that, again, like I said, and like we say always, there is a great need of dedication to the truth by the individual. You must be brave. You have to work hard to force yourself to confront your fears. You need to be brave. You need to be strong and consistent about that path, about that journey of finding the truth. And even if the truth brings you to stand in very embarrassing or uncomfortable um, situations, you need to be able to stand in front of it and to take responsibility and to make changes in your life and to follow the voice that your heart is letting you hear and make the, the required changes.